I was asked how I created the roof in my medieval scene, so I'll just show you how to do this. There's a few different ways. I'm just going to look from the front, and I'm going to bring in a plane, and I'm going to rotate Y45. I'm just going to move this over here and scale this in the Y a bit. So just imagine that's one side of your of your roof. Okay, so like I say, different ways of doing this uh, very simply is to take that plane and add a particle system with hair. Choose your length. I'm probably going to do, let's say, let's say do 1.5 meters. Uh, I'm doing this in Eevee. Uh, I'm going to come to, let's see, there's got the render. We've got the viewport display. And I'll, I'll work on this. Uh, simple I'm probably going to do something let's try five and five so that display and, and uh, what's rendered are the same and um, I'm going to put the roundness to one let's just start start with that okay so I'm looking from the front on the side I'm going to come over here to particle edit and choose this comb here you can adjust the strength and the radius and I'm just going to sort of comb this down like that and uh, you know admittedly it looks a little bit more like hair than uh, than like hay let's say on the roof so I would do something like that I'm gonna look from the top I'm gonna come to the scissors and cut it it doesn't have to be even it probably shouldn't be even really let's go back to object mode and have a look at that and already it's starting to to look like something that we would like. Um, we can randomize things a bit. And let's come down. Clumping. If I do clumping, I don't know how well you'll see this, but if I pull this up, it'll clump a little bit more towards the ends. So you can do that. Roughness, we can play with this to get some randomization, especially the endpoints. All right. And I mean, you can kink this if you want to. Uh, something like wave a little bit. And start to see what's happening here. You know. I don't know that I would do that. I'm going to switch that back to nothing. And let's see. Um, I'm going to switch this. I don't know if I'm actually going to do a render or not. I'll switch the number of steps up. You know, stuff like that. Hair shape here. I'm going to set the tip to one as well. Now, turn on ambient occlusion. I'm going to change that to 0 0.5 and this to 2. If you come over here. I don't have any scene lights yet. I, I'll, I'll drop a sun in there. And we'll see if we get anything with that. Okay, but you can see the thickness of that. And um, you could come in here, maybe select these two vertices and bring in like a, a top post or something. It would look a little bit like the hair is growing out of that, but uh, that's not the end of the world. Uh, let's just put a bevel on that. 0 0.01. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And uh, we'll do a couple materials. I won't even name them. Uh, I'm going to bring in, say, a wood material. But I would probably Smart UV project that and then select it all and rotate 90. Pack. I don't want it to rotate, though. 
So I would have that there. And this, this, this is my plane and my particle system. I'll uh, create a new one. And then you can do whatever you, whatever you want here. Maybe we'll put in, um, let's see. Let's try gradient texture control T. And we'll do, uh, let's try object, shift control and click. You can see the darkness there. All right, and I could add maybe a color ramp here. And you can adjust that. Let's shift control T. Let's bring that into here. All right, so you start to get something like that. Um, let's see. Um, maybe we could use uh, mix RGB in here. And what if we plug that into the factor and change these colors? Maybe a dark brown and a I don't know. You know, do whatever you you want at that point uh, to color it. You know, all that shading stuff. Now that's one method of doing. It. You can also use uh, curve curve guides, and then you can play with this. You can you can you know come back in here, and you can. You know, you can comb it some more. Uh, not cut. If that's what you want to do, and just just you know refine the shape till you get what you like. You can mess it up, mess it up. The only thing is, um, if you don't want this plane to show, you'd have to come back here and under the say render, you could hide it. It still shows in the display, or in the display you can not have it. But then if you see through, you might just see, you know, emptiness. So what I would probably do is I'll just turn those on for the moment is I probably would have copied it and I'll hide that one. And on the copy, get rid of the particle system. So you just have this. Um, I'll get rid of this stuff here. And on this one, I put on... Um, We'll put on a texture here. All right, uh, let's uh, let's just go here. All right, let's say that's what you you had, and you came back to this in the particle system now. Hide the emitter. So that underneath there, you can see the planks. You don't see them very well, but you know if you happen to have a render where you did see them, uh, you wouldn't see the emitter. You would just see the planks. Okay, so that's one way to do a straw-covered roof or a hay-covered roof. Just keeping in mind that you probably want to you know do some more work on this and kink it and stuff like that. All right, thanks.